Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlos here to this week's Fan Fridays, which just so happens to be on Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, guys. Uh, would have been really nice if I thought this one through a little better and did all the festive feud battles this week, but we don't have that. However, it is a 6v6 single battles, and that's like Christmas is telling you guys. And we have Bisharp versus the Rhyperior for the opening, so... Here we go. Repo Man versus Tony is going to be how this breaks down. That's an Iron Head. That's super effective damage. But if I know Rhyperior, it's just not going to care. It just doesn't take damage at all. And that's an Earthquake. That has to one-shot this sharp back. A lot of stab damage. Too much power. And that is the breakdown. So Rhyperior can be a super duper strong Pokemon. Really boss right there. Reminds me of when I brought it to a tournament and my friend Berto. We all know Berto. He's, he's a beast. Uh, he, he was like, if my plan works, and he got my switch prediction on Rhyperior, and it was it was something, I don't remember what it was, but it did like a quarter of my health. I'm like, is that your plan? Is that all you got? So Sylveon will take it out though. No special attack on that, and goes into the Weavile. That's interesting, but he switches out the Sylveon anyways. All right, so we're going into the Blastoise from that, and Weavile does have the Poison Jab. Uh, I still don't understand that switch because even if you're a Sylveon that has no de I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, even if your Sylveon has no defensive investment, as long as it has hit point investment, it survives the Poison Jab from Weavile, even a Life Orb Weavile. Just because Poison Jab has like somewhat low base power, I think it's 75, so that getting doubled is like 100 base power, so it's like, or 150, so it's like eating a neutral Icicle Crash, but like slightly more damage. So there's that. Ice Beam on Brizion. Wow, that didn't do much at all. Okay, so Brizion looks like a special defense tank, and you don't want to deal with that. So switching out and going into Giggles. Giggles, the Gliscor. Going to come in and eat up that Leaf Blade, though. So that's going to be critical hit. Decent amount of damage right there. And the Brizion is healing up with the leftovers. All right, so Poison Orb does get to work which is pretty nice and that's going to be taunt oh man the taunt going to start shutting down this glass score but he goes for the facade instead never mind we got an offensive glass score which is pretty nice to see and that kind of burns down the taunt but it means that glass score can't set up anymore so it can't get that protect for the extra health and stuff we know leaf blade isn't doing a lot of damage but the synthesis is kind of going to stop out the facade and now we are in a pretty decent little stall situation right now so going to just commit to that facade right there um it's like a, somewhere between i think i would say like two fifths that looks about two fifths of its health not quite a half but a little more than a third i believe so going to withdraw doesn't want, looks like the, he doesn't want stall he feels like he can handle whatever is coming in oh that's right you bring in that Slowbro, Glasgow's not going to be able to deal with the Slowbro at all. Facade gets super tanked up by that Defensio, and yeah, and oh, even more leftovers healing on that Slowbro, which means that this is not going to be like an official, um, these aren't official rules going on right now, but we know that it, that is not a Mega Slowbro at least, and that's going back into the Weavile. Oh, uh, I guess he, I don't know what happened here. I guess he tried to just force out the glass score so that's what the, where the protect came in but yeah then you bring in the weavile and weavile will definitely force out the glass score so went for some kind of crazy prediction into double predict kind of stuff but it didn't work out too well and that is going to be blastoise there's the double switch into the sylveon all right so going to eat up that knockoff which is probably not good at all and we find out that critical hit knocks off the chesto berry so it might be calm mind tank chesto set and that's going to be the poison jab from the Weavile. And that's why I'm confused on, oh no, the back-to-back -back critical hits. That sucks. Now, if Sylveon was like full defensive invested, like bold calm mind with 252 and hit points and defense, could have survived that, maybe. But that that's why I don't get you. Bring in the Sylveon in a situation you switched out when it could have easily dealt with the Weavile anyways. So that's gonna be high jump kick damage. On to the Slowbro. Slowbro, going to tank it up pretty well. Um, that would have just obliterated Weavile. A lot of things will obliter obliterate Weavile. It's very frail Pokemon. Medcham, it's like, alright, whatever. I don't need this anymore. Switches out. We go back into the Blastoise. Now it's Blastoise versus the Slowbro. 
That's skull damage right there. Um, not gonna do too much. Do we get the burn? Oh, the burn! That sucks just a little. Uh, back to back crits and a burn. Never gonna be fun right there. And that's a little bit of damage from the leftovers. Or <laughs> damage healing from the leftovers. Alright. It's hard, it's hard to commentate when uh, there's just like a lot of switching going on sometimes, which is why it's hard to kind of review single battles. So that's going to be Ice Beam. Ice Beam onto the Vrezian. We know it's okay damage, we know it's not going to be insane, but the Freeze gets returned. And that's going to shut down that Synthesis as long as he doesn't unfreeze and try to heal up. So that could be pretty big. Blastoise is taking that burn though, so that's a bit of a problem. And, yeah, gets frozen solid, so you just kind of commit to that one, like, well, if I bring in Verzian later, it's just going to be a liability. I just have to play that 20% now and know what to expect, but that is Verzian going down right there. And Blastoise, oof, that burn's doing more than anything to the Blastoise, and money making's coming in. Ooh, is this going to be a Mega Hound Houndoom? That's pretty sick. That can be pretty sick. Uh, we go back into Giggles. So that's also a solid plan right there. Uh, hopefully, you expect it to not have enough damage to destroy the Glass Score, but Glass Score is a very durable Pokemon in a lot of situations. So it goes for that Dark Pulse, Mega Evolves, tries to get some power out of it. Yeah, it doesn't do too much. This is why you need that Solar Power with the Houndoom, but even that Houndoom doesn't have as much as the like your Choice Specs. Like your Choice Specs, um, I'm pretty sure if your Choice Specs a regular Houndoom, it does about as much damage, if not more. Unless you get that sun up for the Mega Houndoom, so it does take set up. Earthquake, not going to be a lot. Would have been a lot to the Houndoom. And just the Slowbro is like the ultimate answer. But he isn't going for like Calm Mind or something, so he doesn't pose like a super win condition threat. And that is going to be the Protect right there. So kind of scouting out the Slowbro, seeing what he's going for. Just throws out the Skull, tries to get some damage. Probably wouldn't be an insane amount, but with that Protect, healing up, and heals on both sides. How is this going to get broken? Like, how do you break the Slowbro? Oh, never mind, Swords Dance. Without the Vrizion, there's no Taunt. That means we could Glasscore Swords Dance up in this one. And we know that Glasscore is faster. Slowbro is just a slow Pokemon in general. There's the Scald. That's... Ooh, it's like, it's like where do you draw the line on this one? Be, unless, like, does, what does Giggles have? What if Giggles has something ridiculous like Thunder Fang? Is that even... No, Earthquake would still do the same amount of damage. So... There's the Earthquake right there, going for the stab, going to try to do something about it, and the Skull damage from the Slowbro will not be enough. I was thinking, like, after you get that one Poison Heal, might have been worth protecting, but then you risk the Leftovers. Uh, the I think the only thing that can happen right now is, like, a crit. Or you get enough damage on the Slowbro to where you finish it off with the Metacham. That could be a pretty good, like, in-game plan. So, Earthquake is going to be solid damage, the Skull is going to land and finish off the Glasscore. But that does do some sacrificial damage to the Slowbro, which is kind of the answer to everything. And now that's going to be the Blastoise, Mega Blastoise, in the house, and goes for the Water Pulse. Now, after the Mega Launcher stab and all sorts of stuff, that should knock out the Slowbro, even though it's not very effective, even though it's tanky. That's probably just like full defensive Slowbro from all the damage that we've seen it not take from physical attacks. So Blastoise at least gets to do something before it goes down, but Weavile... We've all smirking it up. He knows something we don't. And, well, actually, we know what's going to happen. That's going to be a knockoff. That's a KO onto Blastoise pretty easily. And now we get to see what happens. So, the big wall is down. Verizian was kind of a threat as well. And that was pretty hard. So, now we're going to see the Metacham come into the battle. Withdraw on that Weavile. Yeah, you just... If you Mega Evolve into a Bullet Punch, Weavile's probably in KO range right there. Ooh, but Latias is in. And that's just a high jump kick. Just throwing it out. Good amount of damage, even though, like, that's the power. This isn't even Mega Metacham, wait. Yeah, that's right, this is regular Metacham. Oh my goodness. Because we saw Mega Blastoise, and it just two-shot a Latios. And that just shows how much damage Metacham does. And, like, if it was Mega, it'd just be more damage. Because that was a two-hit KO on a resist, which means it would have been a neutral one-hit KO. Just straight-up high jump kick. Oh my goodness. Is this, like, Choice Band or something? I think if it's Choice Banded, it's actually going to be getting... Maybe Scarf to outspeed, because it just outsped Weavile. Um, are we just going to watch High Jump Kick just go through the entire team now? Wow, okay, so yeah, that's apparently all it took. All it took was, like, breaking down the two walls. I think Verizian wasn't even that hard. It was mostly just the Slowbro. So once Slowbro went down, that was it. And then all of a sudden, just 
three Pokemon dropped like nothing. So that was actually pretty cool in the end. We didn't get to see the Frostless at all either. So we only saw five from Leif, and that's kind of the battle we have. Um, I, that Manicham gets me. It's, there's, can it do that much damage to like two shot us? Uh, Latios with a Scarf? If not, like, but it had to because it outsped the Weavile. So, huh. Like, I always go for the Mega Metacham, but that wasn't a Mega Metacham, and it did some cool stuff at the end. So if you guys enjoyed this video, and get ready for some more Fan Fridays this week. Might only do four, because Christmas, maybe? I don't know. 